Hey, what is up everyone? It is Dimension here, back at it with some more Vagabond readings. I know it's been a while guys, I know, I apologize, I've just been caught up with, with my own stuff in my personal life, and I'm still sticking with Vagabond, I, I promise we're gonna finish this just like I finished Berserk, I promise that to you guys, so I love this story so far, and um, I think last last thing we read was um, Inshin and Musashi were friends now, and Musashi's continuing his journey, and uh, we're just picking off from where, where that left off, and I'm, I'm super excited. Vagabond is a 10 out of 10, guys. I seriously, seriously consider it one of the best ever. Just alone from all these chapters we've read so far, I can honestly say this is definitely a masterpiece, and you guys are definitely right about it being, you know, one of the top mangas out there. And uh, I, I just have to thank Takahiko for making such a wonderful story and wonderful characters and just such great development and great messages, and you just learn learned so much you I, I literally feel like I'm getting better each time I read this and um, it's just it's it's such a great feeling to uh, open up a manga and and experience new things and just you know I, I, I truly appreciate it guys and I appreciate you guys watching it with me here and reading along with me so anyways let's continue on and uh, yeah let's uh, let's read some vagabond so we are on chapter 77 sensei sensei hmm oh they call me sensei. And of course we got Musashi here. And this dude right here, I don't know who he is yet. I think it's Madahachi because I, I I think I saw Madahachi with a with a facial change and him pursuing a, a better samurai way for himself. Last time I checked, because I remember I remember he fought a dude and he uh, became, you know, actually like he actually became good with the sword. So I don't know. It could be uh, Madahachi. I could be wrong though. But uh, let's continue. Hmm. This man refuses to pay for his lodging. So what? That just won't do. Who the hell are you, you bastard? Kojiro. Hmm. Sasaki Kojiro. Okay, yeah. Okay, he's taking he's taking the name. He's taking the name I've seen. Okay. Um, Sasaki Kojiro? This man's got quite a reputation. <laughs> he's just playing with his hair. <laughs> I like his style now. He looks pretty pretty nice. Uh, I'm so sorry. Everyone fancies himself a samurai in training. I hope you don't think we're all the same. Haha, <laughs> of course not. I just, uh, just hearing the name uh, Sasaki Kojiro is enough to make peop uh, most people tremble with fear. You must have cut down quite a few men, I can't even imagine. No, actually. <laughs> it's getting difficult for me to find a willing opponent. Haha, <laughs> I see. Fame has its problems too. Yes, my sword f uh, hungers for flesh and blood. Oh, for fresh blood. Hmm. And he just whips it out. It's a nice sword. I gotta admit, the sword's sick, dude. I'm such a big, big fan of samurai swords. They're just so awesome. But when you're with us, you treat us as equals. I suppose there are all kinds of samurai. Yes. If only they were all like you, Kojiro. Kiku. Oh, the. <laughs> I think she he slept with her, right? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, they're getting it freaky on right here. Okay. Um. Oh, Kojiro. Ah, Kiku seems to have fallen for me, but... Oko trained me perhaps too well in matters of the flesh. All other women pale in comparison to her. Damn, he's no simp. He's just gonna use her. I'm going out for a drink. Then we got some, like, uh, little gang of dudes here. Gasp, oh, Sasaki-sensei. Good evening, sir. Oh my god, he looks really good. I'm not gonna lie. I like this new uh this new little hairstyle he has and I like it, I dig it. And also the beard. Well not beard, but like you know, the goatee and and the mustache connecting. It looks nice. It looks nice. Um Hmm. Humph, you again. Here's the guy. Fool be polite. <laughs> Pardon the intrusion, Sasaki Kojiro. I am Kai Shojiro. Uh, I have dedicated the past 35 years to the way of the sword. We shall see whether I'm the equal of, of these ascending dragons, this recent wave of talented young fighters. Ascending dragons? I request a match. Damn. Gulp. <laughs> I don't want to cause a disturbance. Let's go elsewhere. Yes. You are indeed young, but not as big as they say. <laughs> I hear that you call your style... Uh, Gan Ganryu, uh, it's quite an uh, an achievement to develop your own style at such a young age. 
Ganryu? What's that? In any case, this guy, he seems different from all those other punks. He's nothing like a, ka uh, a Kakabe Yasoma. His heartbeat. Hmm, something wrong? Oh, it's just my sandal. What the heck? He's looking at him. Thump. Arr! Oh, he just knocked them down, okay? <laughs> He's zooming. <laughs> oh, Maruhachi, dude. Holy shit. A genuine tiger. Uh, it comes from a far off land. A great tiger from Korea. I love tigers, man. They're so cool. The great Lord uh, Kato uh, Kiyomosa captured this tiger himself, but it's dead. This is a tiger hide. You tricked me. What's in the what's what's the point in looking at a dead tiger? I want my money back. Stop it, Granny. You're making a spectacle of yourself. Hey, I want my money back. Dude, this old lady. <laughs> oh, she's gonna bump into Marhachi. Pardon. Oh no, pardon me. Oh, he knows immediately. He turns his face. <laughs> oh, Fitch. She's looking at him. Marahachi. Yep, she recognized him. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious. Chapter 78, Ascending Dragon. Oh, I like this tree. Uh, young uh, Takizo and Marahachi. <laughs> oh. um, stop. Wait, son. You fool. Why are you running away? Marahachi. Oh, she's coming after him. Thief! Stop, thief! Catch that thief! Oh, someone got him. We got him! You're a thief, huh? You bastard, you're a dead man. Damn you! Hey, stop it! Oh, God, dude, they're beating on him. <sighs> yeah! I said stop it, you cruel bastards. What are you talking about? He's a thief. No, he's not. How dare you? You lonely merchants have no right to, to kick around the son of a samurai. You're the one who said he was a thief. Humph, <laughs> yes, I did. I yelled out, but I didn't ask you to stomp on him. You had no right to do that, you lowly merchants. Now go away. What? You old? Forget about it. She's out of her mind. Humph. <laughs> uh, Granny, that's enough. Marahachi's not a kid anymore. Shut up, Gon. How dare you run away from your own mother? You think you dropped out of the sky? You're my son. <laughs> it's been five years since you were tricked by that bastard Musashi to go out and fight. I thought you were dead. Where well, you're, you're, out, you're living out here in Osaka. Look, mother. Why didn't you come home? Why are you hiding from your relatives? Why didn't you come and see your very own mother? I was too ashamed to return. What did you do after Sekigahara? That was so shameful. Tell me. Um, hmm. A life of woman and alcohol, and then you end up being a fugitive from Kyoto. That's it. You ruined our family's reputation. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Hmm. What are you doing now? You're wearing such nice clothes. But what's with that hair? Have you been given an official position? Yes. I, I mean, no. I haven't. I live by the sword. By the sword? I give lessons in sword fighting and such. Hmm. The way of the sword. It took me a while, but I finally discovered the truth. All I have is the way of the sword. <laughs> Granny's astonished. Really? Well, haha. <laughs> a swordsman. How admirable I had gone. Yes, he might have been a fugitive, but the blood of the Hanadin family runs through him all right. Look at this. It's a, a swordsman's certificate. Brr, brr, brr. I know you were worried sick over me, but you can rest easy now, mother. I, I always thought you were a better man than that Takazo, and that was right. <laughs> Let me have a closer look. Hmm. Why does it say Sasaki Kojiro? Answer me, boy. <laughs> huh? This? It's, uh, my pseudonym. Uh, pseudonym? Why use a pseudonym? Um, you have a respectable uh, name, Marahachi Hanadin. Because of my shameful past, I don't, I didn't want to tarnish our ancestor's reputation. I see. Say, I'm getting hungry. Let's go have some lunch. The long-awaited reunion. Cheers. All this, um, traveling paid off. Who would have expected it? We're with we're here with Marahachi, right, Granny? Hmm. We're out of sake. More sake. Enough gone. Have you gotten why we're here? We're looking for Takizo and Otsu. Have you forgotten we're out for revenge? Sorry. Uh, what's this about Takizo and Otsu? You're oblivious about the village, Marahachi. Don't you want to know what's happened to Otsu? Otsu. What become of her? Or what's become of her? If she's uh, if she's still waiting for me, I'll return to Miyamoto Village immediately. That's a little too late. 
she left the village with Takizo. Oof. Oof. He's realizing what's happened. Otsu, with Takizo? Wait, what do you mean? It's obvious. She gave up on you since you didn't come home. Now she's with Takizo. Actually, he's calling himself Miyamoto Musashi now. Humph. Takwan um, had him hanging from the old uh, cedar tree at Shipoji Temple. He should have died, but Otsu helped him escape. Damn. <laughs> she disappeared from the village that very same day. She spit on the Hanaden family despite all we've done for her. You see, Marahachi, that's why we're, we are traveling the country. We can't go home until we make those two pay. Then th those two, they're involved? Don't be stupid. They're not little kids. You should see them for what they are. Oh, dude, Marahachi's broken. He can't he can't comprehend that Takuzo has his, his, his old girl now. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. We heard you mention Miyamoto Musashi. Do you know him by chance? We are from the same village. Miyamoto Musashi? We we hear about him wherever we travel. He fought Yoshioka Densh Denshichiro to a deadlock. And most recently, he defeated Inshin of Hozoin Temple. Damn, of course there are just rumors. Inshin is still ahead of Hozoin, so we don't know how true this story is. But he must have at least held his ground against Inshin. Amongst those of us dedicated to the sword, he is the greatest ascending dragon. That's what they say about Miyamoto Musashi. Ascending dragon. I like the little silhouette of him right here in the back with just his eyes. He looks so cool. Hmm. what? I thought you were from the same village. Aren't you happy for him? Ascending dragon. Ascending dragon, huh? Hey. Have you heard of Sasaki Kojiro? This fucking, fucking, um, Marahachi. <laughs> oh. Yes, of course. Sasaki Kojiro. They say he fights like a demon. Gasp. Someday, Kojiro will defeat Musashi. Okay, Marahachi. All right, that's a big claim. That is a very big and bold claim for Marahachi to say that, that he can take on, um, you know, Ta Takazo or Musashi, I should say. That's, um... It's pretty bold of him. I don't think um, I don't think he's a match, but we'll see. I'll, I'll like to see his development um, because so far, you know, he's just been just the dude that ran off on Otsu and looked for a new life and ended up like in, in a shitty situation. And now he's here uh, with a new name. So it's it's really interesting how uh, Madahachi is. Uh, development been so far so we'll, we'll see we'll see how that how that turns out if he can really take on musashi chapter 79 uh volume 9 okay cool i really actually i actually really like this cover this cover is beautiful i love musashi with the sword and uh the flowers here gorgeous jotaro what are you doing here you said you were leaving me Oh yeah, Jodoro returned, right? He returned to Musashi at the end of our last reading. Uh, when we first went to Hozuin, you said we'll become stronger. Not just me, but both of us. So even though you lost and ran away that first time, I didn't lose. Tactical uh, <laughs> retreat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back to defeat Inshin. That's why. Looks like we're here. Yagyu territory. I'm going to become stronger. Alright, chapter 79, the Yagyu. Cool. I'm going to become stronger too. <laughs> uh, I like these two's uh, relationship. I, I have, I'm, I'm just glad Jotaro's back. I, I really liked him. He uh, he really compliments uh, Musashi's. Uh, he just compliments Musashi in general. So it's cool to see. Uh, hey, and he's zooming. Master, slow down. I'm going to fall. Ahaha, <laughs> sir. A letter for you, sir. Ooh, Otsu. Uh, Otsu, the master's gone to practice at the dojo. Oh, I'll go look for him there. Thank you. But she gets more beautiful by the day, and she's also developing a certain grace. Someday, she's going to marry someone, and I haven't got a chance. You're leaving yourself wide open, huh? Yay, I got you. Humph. <laughs> You're a retainer of the esteemed Yagyu clan. You mustn't let your guard down so easily. Please don't tell the master about this. Oh, yeah, the master. This dude is so cool. Is that you, Otsu? You're a master swordsman, and yet you still train so hard. You're so great, even in your even your son in Edo is teaching swordsmanship to the shogun. There is no limit to technique. There is always room for improvement. Otsu, 
Are you here for a reason? The dojo is no place for an idle visit. I brought you a letter from your grandson. Which grandson? Hyogo no Suke Fush. Oh my god. Oh, was he just excited? I thought he was like mad. Oh no. He seems very excited. What? Hyogo no Suke. He's coming back? Really? Hyogo no Suke? When does he arrive? Wow. The master's super intrigued. Well, I mean, it's his son, so obviously he wants to know about his kid. He may be known as a sword saint, but he still dotes over his grandson. Oh, grandson, okay. Uh, hmm, well, is that the way sword saints express their joy? <laughs> oh, let's see. What does he say? Hmm, he's coming home. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, the power doesn't come from the sword. Put your gut into it. Hmm? Honda Tomimasa, chief retainer of the Yuki clan of Echizen. The whack. Ugh. That's no good. Start all over again. You're so hard on them, Shoda. Those who lack the proper discipline with have no place with the Yagyu. Those who have the uh, perseverance to remain truly deserve uh, to remain truly deserve to be here. Indeed, the man over there. He handles his sword very well. That's Murata. Uh, Murata Yozo. He's our stableman. If he comes to my fief, he'll do more than look after the horses. Won't you give him to me? Is that a no? And that man is uh, Debuchi Magobe, our chief foot soldier. He too is a splendid swordsman. I'd like to employ him as well. And that is Kimura Sukekuro, uh, bookkeeper. Again, guys, I, I'm super sorry if I butcher these names. A lot of this is in Japanese and... <laughs> I'm not good with Japanese, all right? Uh, you have a good eye. Uh, these three men and I showed a uh, Kizemon. Um, showed a K Kizemon? Okay. Ahem. Together we are known as the senior disciples of the Yagyu. The best swordsmen come from this dojo located out here in the middle of the mountains. That is the greatness of the Yagyu school. And surely we will produce many more worthy men. That's why you can spare one of your senior disciples. I'll give you a promotion. You refuse? You'd rather stay here? I see. Hyogono Soke, uh, Soke is coming back. I wonder. He's trained for a, a, for a time at Higo, and he's been traveling about the country. For still more training, how much stronger has he become? But I'm stronger now too. I won't lose to him. Out of all of his grandsons, the master has chosen him. Hyogono Soke, or S Sake, uh, <laughs> suck shall be the one so there will be a successor the shinkage style shall be passed down from sekishusai to hyogono soke uh now that we're here how do we get in you're planning on doing something reckless again i can tell by the expression on your face <laughs> i'm going to take him on the invincible yagyu sekis uh susai God damn, he, he's just, dude, uh, Musashi is all about fighting, that's, that's what I love about him, but uh, he just wants to get stronger, you know, gasp, is, is it that preposterous you laugh at me, uh, everyone will, well, the heavens won't be laughing, <laughs> oh, I love that, I love that saying, <laughs> oh, let's go, um, ah, uh, hmm, yes, the air is so fresh and sweet, I'm finally here. Oh, okay. So here's the grandson coming back. Coming home. So this is the Grey Yagyu clan, famed for their school of martial arts. They're even favored by the Tokugawa sh uh, shogunate. Hmm. The question is, how can I get into their get to their master, Yagyu uh, Seki Shusai? Uh, let's go, master. I must not. I must not rush into things. Better to take time and come up with a good plan. Mmm, okay. I'm coming for you, Yagyu Seki Shusai. I like that Musashi's not really rushing in. You know, he's thinking about uh, what he wants to do. He has a plan. Okay. Let's find some lodgings. Um, I'm exhausted and hungry. Uh, shut up. <laughs> this territory is so strange. What do you mean? There are so many trees. Huh, what's so strange about that? Don't you see? The trees here are old. That means there haven't been any battles here in a long time. This land has seen no enemy invaders. Beautiful, dude. This panel is so beautiful. 
But uh, that's true. I guess no one has, you know, invaded this, these lands. Uh, Kyoto, Osaka, and Owari all so close. And yet somehow this castle and this mountain village has managed to survive all the violence and bloodshed. It's proof positive of Yagyu Sekishusai's greatness. Hmm. I'm tired. I can't walk anymore. <laughs> Look at Jotaro. <laughs> Stop whining. He picks him up. Hmm. You smell. Sniff, sniff. So do you. Something horrible. <laughs> plish, plish. Ah. Why does he insist on bathing here? Wasn't he eager to get get home? I haven't been back since I left for Higo. That was three years ago. Splash. I want to cleanse myself before I go through the castle gates. Hmm. Sir, you must be looking forward to uh, uh, Hyo Gono Suke's arrival. Hmm, yes, well. Ha ha ha. What happened to the mighty sword saint? <laughs> Otsu. Yes. Mind if I boast about my grandson? It's fine. Go right ahead. I love this panel of Otsu right here. Oh, she looks so, so pretty. Um, he's incredibly strong. Ever since he was a child, he's been just like me. Don't tell anyone I said so. Master, it is I, Shoda. Hmm. Did you deal with him? Yes, I followed your instructions and responded accordingly. But that Denshi Chiro fellow of y the Yoshioka school, he's a stubborn one. I wish to have an opportunity to visit the dojo of the Yagyu. I will return again tomorrow. Denshi Chiro, dude. <laughs> hmm. What a pest you did. Tell him. Uh, Mune Nori's in uh, Ido. Uh, Hyogo's in Higo. And the others are to round. That is of no concern to me as my only desire is to meet the great master, Seki Shusai. Tomorrow then, I shall return. Also, you met him a while ago. That man built like a log. <laughs> I can't believe he's still lingering around. Uh, perhaps I should take him on. We'll teach him a lesson. No, there's no point in having him bear a grudge against us. Although I understand how he might strike a competitive chord in you, both of you, in, in you, both of you resembling bears and, and all. <laughs> a bear? <laughs> yeah, Otsu, I leave it to you and your beauty. My beauty, sir. Um, Take this to him. I'm counting on you. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, you don't think Shota heard, do you? My boasting? Psst, psst. Ha ha. Um. Oh. She's crying a little bit. What? Otsu. Oh no, it, it won't stop. What's wrong? You don't want to go? No, it's just that. I envy Hyogo no uh, Suke. Aww. He has a place to come home to, and his grandfather is so looking forward to seeing him. Aw, poor Otsu. Aw, he hugs her. Otsu, you can stay here forever. I like that. I like that, dude. Um, I hate baths. Mumble, mumble. I don't like them either. But you smell bad. So do you. Oh, Musashi. Dude, Musashi's kind of packing, though. You can see it in the mist. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and then here's the uh, the son, right? The grandson? Holy shit. Hmm. Oh my god, he's kind of hairy down there, though. God damn. All right. The Peony message. Um, <laughs> They're just chilling here in the bathtub. <laughs> Master, have you washed up already? Yes, I hope you did a good job. Because no place would put put us up if you smell bad. You dislike bathing? Oh. The way Musashi just stares in. He's so intimidating. <laughs> That's right. I don't like it either. <laughs> They're just chilling here on the bathtubs, man. <laughs> Yikes, it's too hot. Splish. That's enough for me. I'm getting out now, okay? You weren't in you weren't in long enough. But it's too hot. He your disciple? More or less. <laughs> Let's see. Let, let me guess why you hate bathing. Your attitude, the way you carry yourself every day. You're prepared to be attacked at any moment, just like a cat. You're afraid that your guarded awareness will be washed away along with the dirt. That's why you don't like bathing. Hmm. He's uh he's really giving him a a good analysis 
for just meeting him. I get the feeling that you and I are similar. Are, are similar. Hmm. Interesting. Clop, clop. Hey, it's Otsu. There she is. Otsu is coming through. Hello. Dude, she is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love her. Please don't bow down to me. I guess I look like a noble. I was just a child abandoned at a temple in Miyamoto village of Sakushu. Uh, Sakushu? Yeah. That doesn't matter, Otsu. The Yagyu are just letting me stay with them for for a time. Where are you going? Um, a task for the master, perhaps? Yes, I'm on my way to to an inn called uh, Wataya. Uh, oh, it's over. It's right over there. Allow me to show you the way. Hmm. A woman riding a horse? <gasps> Jotaro. Um, and look at the at that wooden practice sword of yours. I'm staying at Wataya by yourself? No, with my master. <gasps> What's your name? I'm Jotaro. Jotaro? Well then, why don't you show Otsu there? What? Flip. <laughs> Alright. Only to the entrance, though. I want to stay outside and play. Oh my god, is she gonna meet uh, Musashi already? That'd be insane. Uh, here we are. Darn, I woke up in a sweat, even though I just took a bath. Maybe I'll go take a swim in the river. Thank you, Jotaro. <laughs> hmm, he reminds me of Takuzo. Yeah, literally, dude. He literally acts like Takuza. Look at the way he ran away. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Hmm. So that's it. He also said, uh, I would have liked to offer you some tea, but my house is filled with an uncivil lot, and you are such a man of the city, it would be rather unfortunate for us to become the butt of the jokes. Perhaps some other time. I did not come for tea. The sword. I am a swordsman. Oh, <laughs> She's like, gasp. I understand how you must feel, but these days he's much more an old man than he is a warrior. He doesn't even eat much. Damn it, if only that bearish man I met the other day was the messenger, I'd force him to introduce me to uh, Seki Shusai. A true warrior has a weakness for beautiful women. Facts, that is so true. <laughs> I understand, however I shall return, and I will see him the next time I come back. That, that is a gift to you from the master. Hmm. Do you really think that I, the second son of Yoshioka Kempo, am a man with a predilection for flowers? No, I guess not. <laughs> she sniffs it. Here, this is for you. What? Oh, she gave it to the little girl. What a beautiful woman. She must be from the castle. It's so pretty. Your, your tea, sir. Zoop. Oh my god. They are like so close to each other. But they're like, they don't even know. Uh, hmm, there's plenty of strong men out there. I should have gotten his name. <laughs> yeah, wow, holy. Everyone is so nearby, man. What the heck? So chapter 82, successor to the, in to the invincible. Again, beautiful forest. Love it. Thwack. Uh, I, I surrender. Are you alright? Looks like it's broken. You've gotten stronger, Yozo. Gasp. Young master. Ah, the grandson has returned. Okay. Grandfather, I have returned. Young master, did you just arrive? Yes. Hyogo no soke. Uh, welcome home. Let's have a match. Um, hey, that's not fair. I, I get to go first. That's right. You just had a match. I'm up next. Um, enough. The young master has just returned from a long journey. Uh, it's okay. I'm ready. Hmm. I, I like how he's sitting. <laughs> he's like holding his feet. <laughs> Come. Such composure. He has indeed matured. Uh, I've waited three years for this moment. Damn. Look how calm he is. You, I think you can see a little bit of his aura, right? And he's the other dude that's versing him is just worried. Gasp. Yeah. One strike. <laughs> that dude got fucked. <laughs> um. Now we're back to Musashi. He's looking at the little girl. <laughs> Gasp. Ouch. I'm so sorry. I'll come back with more tea. Oh, she spilled it. <laughs> That flower. What kind of flower is it? Huh? 
Oh, this. A noble woman from the castle gave it to me. It's a peony. Um, do you like flowers? Yes, I do. Um, oh, really? So do I. I'll go bring a vase for you. <laughs> Such clumsy bloodthirst. I still have a long way to go. He's looking at the stem. For what reason, though? Hmm. Maybe she's not such a. Maybe he's not such a bad man. Oh, you brought a vase. Yes, the stem's too long. Here, can you hold it? I was worried. I'm. I'm sorry. I was afraid of you. Glimmer. <laughs> Slish. Oh my God. He cut it. That is so cool. I, I love I love the scenes like this where it's just you just see the strike and uh it, it's it's awesome. And she's like, "Oh. Yeah, she runs." <laughs> hmm. But he's still staring at it like, "Why?" <laughs> and then now we're back to these dudes that they got destroyed. Holy. I couldn't do anything against him. He's even stronger than he was before. No matter how hard we train, the young master gets incrementally stronger but therein lies the challenge hmm it's in his blood he truly is the rightful heir to the Yagyu legacy successor to the invincible Hyogo no, no uh, Soke yes sir damn awesome I liked how that that little girl was just super scared of giving the tea to uh, to Musashi, and then he ends up scaring her anyways with cutting of with with the cutting of the the little flower. <laughs> Chapter eighty three, Legacy, and dude, this literally looks real life. Like Takahiko, you were so good at your art, man. Seriously. And now we're back to uh, the grandson and the grand the grandmaster. He's writing something. He's shaking, though. What the hell? The writing doesn't look good. On this day, Yagyu Sekishusai passed on all of the secrets of the Shinkage style to his grandson, Hyogo no Soke. A combination of both joy and... Scene sense? Or sense sense? I don't know how to say that. It were evident as his tre hem trembling hands brushed the final characters. Oh, okay. It has been over 40 years since I inherited the Shinkage style, derived from the Kami Izumi style. I worked long and hard, and in time, I was able to master it, approaching heaven and earth. I sh should I pass away, it still lives on, here. Oh. Fuam, he bows immediately. Grandfather, Master Kami Izumi had a very peaceful looking face, didn't he? How do you know? I see him standing there beside you. Oh. Wow, the master. This dude was badass. I love this guy. And he trained he trained him and also the other guy we met that trained um Inshin. So uh awesome dude. I love this. But uh, I don't is is he giving him the the book though or is he just keeping it there? I'm not sure yet. But it, so he can see he can see the the ghost or just the spirit, I guess. So that's that's very interesting. All right, Don, Don. Oh, they're just bonging the the drums. What is that? An improvisation. Uh, an improvisation of joy. <laughs> He's just banging the drums, dude. Holy. Um, what's going on at this hour? Must be the master. Don, don. Like I said, they're all super nearby now. Now, uh, Otsu's in the, in the, in the, in the baths. <laughs> hmm, it's completely different. The side I cut. And the side cut at the castle. Oh. That's interesting that he's, he's measuring the cuts, because, you know... Um, I guess the type of cut must have been very skillful. So the so the the master that gave him the that gave Otsu the flower cut in a certain way. So uh, Musashi's noticing that. Hmm. I cut this side. Oh my! It's you, Jotaro. How did you get into the castle? Hehehe. <laughs> I told the gatekeeper that I was your brother, and they let me in. They didn't believe me at first because I made a mistake and called you Otsuru. <laughs> See, they're still suspicious. <laughs> it's okay. 
<laughs> uh, hey, kid, what are you doing in here? Gasp. Grr. I'm Otsu's little brother. Isn't that right, Otsu? Her brother, really. This filthy brat. Well, but I was sent here by my master to deliver this message. Oh. From, from Musashi. So he's li lying about being your brother. Yes. Hey. Oops, sorry. <laughs> A message from your master, huh? He must be an errant samurai polishing his skills. I won't bother to read his letter. What? I would like to visit the dojo of the Yagyu. I seek the opportunity to observe your swordsmanship. As a fellow uh, aspirant following the way of the sword, won't you please grant my request for a lesson? They're all the same. Countless numbers of men who fancy themselves samurai in training come here with the same request. But we just can't be bothered with their like. You understand, don't you? No, I don't. What? My master isn't like everybody else. If you won't read his message, then cut me down. Oh my god, Jotaro. <laughs> Jotaro, I can't return to him without filling, fulfilling my task. Cut me down if you won't read it. Hmm. Alright, give it here. <laughs> Jotaro, remember this. You must treasure life. Do you understand? What are you looking at? Murata, we received a most peculiar message. See this? Oh, he sent the stem. Hmm, what's that? Interesting. Is he talking? So he probably did the cut in a certain way, and they're all like noticing it. I, I don't know. This is this is kind of insane that they're looking at it like like that. But um, it is what it is, I guess. Hmm, what's that? What's taking so long? I'm starving. I hope my master doesn't eat lunch before I get back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, chapter 84, Promise. Dude, look at this beautiful scenery, dude. Takehiko, please, man. You're blessing my eyes. Oh, my God. I love this forest scenery. And Musashi's just training now. He's paying attention to the bee here. Strikes at it. Was he aiming for the stem or for the bee? The stem. Yep. It's not the same. Ah, he's still he's still noticing the stem, the cut. A noble woman from the castle gave it to me. It's a peony. That means someone from the castle cut the flower. Also, I don't know if that's how you pronounce uh the flower. It seems like it's pronounced peony, but I could be wrong. Uh I doubt a noble woman could make it cut like that. Uh who could it have been? True. It's not the same. My cut is destroying the flower. The cut on that peony is different. Hmm. Even though it's been cut, the flower remains vibrant. As if it's still alive. See, I love I love the focus on these little details. Just from a little stem, the cut. Like, isn't that just so amazing that, you know, Musashi is just putting so much thought into it. And he's like, you know, how, how can I even improve a little cut just like that? Like, that's how much dedication he has. He has so much dedication that he's worrying about a little cut on a flower. He wants it to be as beautiful as the cut that he that he uh, received from from the master, basically. So, that that's amazing. That's so amazing. What does the letter say? That's what is so unusual. He wants to know why... He wants to know who cut this peony. Ah. <laughs> is that dude holding it in his mouth? <laughs> It's like this is lip. It's like right there on his mustache. <laughs> I figured it was the the usual uh, a samurai in training seeking a match, but he doesn't even mention that. Just I would like to know who made this magnificent cut. Magnificent cut. Which side? I don't know. There's a difference between these two cuts. Hmm. Can you tell? Ha! These fellows are so desperate. They're coming up with some creative ways to approach us. Throw that stem out. That's exactly what I thought. Until Otsu told me that Master Yagyu cut that flower. Hmm. What's this Ronin's name? Miyamoto Musashi. Have you heard of him? I have. He fared well against the Yoshioka of Kyoto and against Inshin of Hozuin. If he was a fair match against Inshin, I'd like to meet him. Yes. What's taking them so long? How, how hard could it be to come up with a reply? Oh, Dogi. Look at it. <laughs> hey, dog. Come here. You're big. Come on, let's wrestle. <laughs> yeah. Come on, show some spirit. Shoulder toss. Yeah. Uh, ear hold move. 
<laughs> Gasp. Grr. Oh, God. Hey, how dare you? Who do you think you're... Gasp. Let's go. Thanks for your hospitality. Please take care, sir. My visit to the Yagyu turned out fruitless. I wonder how Miyamoto Musashi is faring with his training. Hmm. Miyamoto? There we go, dude. This panel is so good, dude. So good. Vagabond is so good. Yoshioka Denshichiro. I had completely forgotten about him. Oh, take it easy, you fools. Selling flowers now, are you? <laughs> Look at that smile. It's not even a smile. It's kind of like a smirk almost. So the came, so you came to see the Yagyu too. There's nothing here for you. You're wasting your time. They won't grant you an audience. Is that so? You haven't forgotten your promise, have you? Of course not. Early next spring, I'll see you back in Kyoto. Wow. Just, 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 just from like the, the time they've been away from each other, Miyamoto has, has evolved so much. He has, he has literally come so far and he, he's just, he's so much, he's so different now from when he first met Denshichiro, completely different. And that's, that's awesome. That's, that's really what I really love about Vagabond, you know, the, the development. It's so good. Farewell, Yoshioka. Hmm. Here's a gift for your journey home. Hmph? No, thank you. Flip. <laughs> he tosses it. <laughs> oh, he slices at it. Okay. And I'm going to guess that he's going to look at the stem, right? Hmph. Do you think I'm a man with a predilection for flowers? Huh. <laughs> it's limp and lifeless. Yoshioka Denshichiro. Damn. <laughs> oh god this is awesome this is so cool i'm back drip drip oh my god what the hell happened to jotaro so chapter 85 ship of stone again another beautiful scene with uh otsu on the background and a little kitty cat what will you do now hyogo no so uh soke now that you left kato uh kiyo masa's higo i hear that all, all the lords throughout the provinces are after you is that so are you interested in serving one of them? No. I'll continue to travel the land in order to improve myself. I see. You'll continue the Musha Shugyo, the warrior's pilgrim, a pilgrimage. So many, of these, so many of these days are just lazy parasites and charlatans. Grandfather, speaking of warrior pil pilgrims, I ran into quite an interesting fellow. He never let his guard down. Not one false move. He couldn't have been older than 20. But I did not get his name. Did he show up here? I wouldn't know. I've instructed my men to turn away all all wandering samurai. Imagine that, just running into a man like that on my way home. It must have mean I have still much of the world to see. Grandfather, I must continue my training pilgrimage. Whoop, he's all bald now. <laughs> have you no thoughts of marriage? Hmm, no, I do not. Master, uh... Me, the stray cat, is pregnant. Look. Oh. Oh, dude, don't tell me she, this dude's gonna f fall in love with uh, Otsu. Oh. Yep. He is. You can just tell just by his face, just looking at Otsu. Huh? What happened? You're bald. This is Otsu. She's been looking after me. Oh, no. You've been looking after me. This is my grandson, Higono Soke. Ah, so you're Hyogono Soke, his pride and joy. Oh, and he just leaves them. <laughs> he leaves them because he wants them to get along. Okay, I see. Because he was mentioning marriage, so. <laughs> he reminds me of Takazo, but he's more like his grandfather. I bet the master looked like this when he was a young man. True. He turns. Master. Grandfather? What the? Wait, what the? What is going on? Master. What the fuck, dude? Oh, I was wondering, like, why, why was there such a close-up of him here? Okay, that explains. Something happened to him. He was shaking. 
his vision was fading. Oh, damn. I should have been paying more attention. Holy shit. Was he poisoned? What the hell? It seems like he was poisoned or something. It seems like he coughed up blood. For a second, I thought I thought his grandson had like cut his neck or something. But no, that wouldn't make sense. Holy shit. Tomorrow evening, we'll have drinks and exchange tales of our exploits. I don't care to do any talking, but at the very least, I'll gain entrance to the estate. Oh, look at Jotaro. He's all patched up now. Early next spring, I'll see you in Kyoto. Hmm. Hey, I need a blanket. <laughs> He's chilling. There's nothing... <laughs> There's nothing here for you. You're wasting your time. You're wrong. Sorry, another blanket. <laughs> the little girl. <laughs> brr, brr, brr. And then <laughs> Jodoro is just chilling. I've gained access to the state, which will lead me to the great Yagyu Sekishusai. He's still, he's still, uh, still cold though. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hmm. He's resting for now, but. Is he in bad shape, considering his age? Hmm. Throughout my childhood, no matter what I did, everyone said I was just like my grandfather. And when I took up the sword, my stance, my form, I was said to be indistinguishable from him. And it made me so happy. I couldn't stop practicing. The master is so proud of you. He brags about you whenever he gets the chance. Haha, <laughs> it was just this morning that he told me. This ship of stones refuses to come afloat. <laughs> oh, look at Otsu. <laughs> Long ago, a Chicago shogun made made me a very attractive offer. However, if I'd served served with him, I would have been killed by Oda Nobunaga. And if I'd taken up Nobunaga on his offer, who knows what would have happened when Toyotomi Hideyoshi took power. And had I honored Hideyoshi's wishes and served him, the Yagyu family would have been decimated by Tokugawa Iyasu at the Battle of Sekigahara. Ah, so they connect back to the Sekigahara battle, I see. Interesting. Hmm. The world above sea is in a constant storm. And just as my name, Sekishusai, means ship of stone, I have remained at the ocean floor. And so these hills remained untouched. In the calm deep below the stormy seas... Uh, I've managed to polish a system of martial arts, and now it shall be passed down to this clan's noblest of heirs. I'm honored. I really like this guy. I really like this guy. Very honorable. And uh, he seems like he knows a lot. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to stop here. This was an amazing reading. Hyogono Soke is definitely, um, um, again, I'm sorry if I butcher that name. He, it's a very long name. It's super hard. <laughs> so uh, I could be mispronouncing it. But anyways, the grandson is a pretty cool character. But uh, I think he's falling in love with uh, Otsu. I don't think that's uh, that's okay, man. That That is, uh, that's, um, that's um, Musashi's girl. You don't want to fuck with him and his girl, so... It's amazing that, you know, they're all very close by and Jotaro is the only one that's been seeing Otsu. And it's just, it's funny how close they are, you know? They're just so close to seeing each other. And um, talk, um, I was about to say Takazo, but Musashi really doesn't know that Otsu's at the Yagyu. So anyways, awesome reading, amazing writing, great development for these characters. And especially for Musashi, Musashi is so cool. And uh, he's turned out to be one of my favorite protagonists. And Takahiko, you're goaded. Your Vagabond is goaded. I love reading this. I feel like I'm becoming a better person and learning so much more about uh, about this history too. Because this a lot of this has to deal with you know uh, real real stuff that happened back then, especially during the times in Japan. So um, super cool. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Comment down below if you have any other suggestions or just want to talk about some Vagabond. Just leave it down below, guys. And as always, take care and peace.